welcome back to my channel and welcome to another small shop spotlight. Now, this small shop spotlight may not be you discovering a new company. I feel like we all, for the most part, know about DP with sparklers, but um, I did want to just highlight some new products, not new products, new to me products that they have, some things that I'll be trying out for the first time. And maybe you're new to diamond painting and did not know that special drills existed or that you could purchase them elsewhere other than just receiving them in your kit. So again, this is DP with sparklers. I have a new order here that just came in, but I did want to just take a second <laughs> and show you all of the pretty things. So I color code these little baggies. I keep them on uh, what I call binder rings. I don't know if that's what everybody else calls them, but I have everything color coded labeled and yeah so all of the teal bags here are my round ABs. I think they're all here. I may have some in another spot from a recent project but I have them somewhat in groups because I just ha had a lot of them. So I have my pinks and reds. I have some grays and blues, some purples and greens and yeah they just are like this and then if I know I have a painting that's heavy on green I can go through my greens see if I can match up any colors or even if I don't match DMC I can just match you know shade of green and I store these in my drafting table so I have a couple of drawers underneath my drafting table and that's where these all live when I'm not using them so those are my round ABs the purple bags are my square ABs, and this is actually pretty light um, because I'm currently using like 11 ABs in my current project. So I do have more, they're just in use. These are all of my like opals and glow drills. And then I have all of my sparklers in the pink bags. So that is how I store them. I just kind of wanted to go over that quickly and then Let's get into this new order. I actually need to grab a tray because I want to be able to show you guys some of these. So I have a tray and I have a pair of scissors and I have a cat outside my door that's meowing, but she's okay. <laughs> I pulled out the invoice ahead of time, but I do have a business card here. And you also get one of these really beautiful sparkler stickers in every order. All right, so I got a little bit of everything. A couple of these items that I have here are actually new to me. I've never purchased before. Uh, so I think I'm gonna get into those first because I'm very excited. So I do have some sparklers, which I'll show you guys. That is my cat trying to open the door. Ooh, a starburst. Okay, everything just came out of this bag. <laughs> Moment of silence for that bag. I don't know how they do it. How do they pack all of that stuff in this little bag? It's a talent. <laughs> okay, let's sort here just a little bit. All right, so these are ABs. All right, Whew. this was a pretty big order for me. So the first thing that I picked up that I've been really interested in trying are these quad cubes. Sorry about that. I needed to <laughs> tend to the cats that were scratching at my door. Ugh. Okay, so these are quad cubes. I've actually never purchased these before, and I've obviously never used them. Um, but I've seen them used, and they're really cool. So as far as I'm aware, if I have this correct, these little cubes take up four spots on both a round and square painting, I believe if you've used these before and I have that wrong, please let me know down below. Um, but I know a lot of people use them and that they're, they look really cool. I don't necessarily have anything in mind for them, but I did want to pick them up. So this one is champagne. They're just really cool. Yeah, they're really neat. I don't know that I've seen these anywhere else. Um, maybe they exist elsewhere, but this one here is smoke. I might as well just show them all to you. It's 
a really cool color. And then we have mint. I've seen this one used in like greenery before and it looks really cool. And then I picked up, you know, I said I didn't really have plans to use these anywhere, but I did have a thought for these white ABs. So I completed Mad Kitty at the beginning of this year and somebody had actually left a comment on my post review saying that quad cubes would look really cool in his eyes. So I'm thinking I might actually go back and try these. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, just to give them a shot because they, they are really neat. And yeah, I do want to give them a shot, obviously, like I just said. <laughs> uh, let me see my invoice. Okay. These were... Oh, they don't give me the price. Darn it. Oh, but I did find another little diamond sticker. Ooh, that's pretty. Uh, I want to say these were $1.25 for, I don't know, maybe there's like 20 in here. So I don't think that's a bad price. I think that's pretty fair. Um, but I am looking forward to finding somewhere to use those. Next, I have half pearls. Now, I have used half pearls before, not from a specific company, but I've used ones that have come in kits. So I've done two diamond art clubs that all that both came with um, like the white half pearls. That was in Magical Mama from Mandy Manzano and the People's Princess also from Mandy Manzano. Um, so I have used them, but not from DP with Sparklers. Now, I believe... I want to say you can only use these in round kits, which makes sense to me because they are round. But I think that these also take up four spots in a round kit. Hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong if you know if you've used these. But aren't these really pretty? These ones are 5200 AB. And then we have 310. This one I've seen used in eyeballs. Um, because they're black. Let's see if I can get these to turn over. Cute, like, little button eyes. If you had, like, a bear or an animal or something, they would look really cute. And then I purchased silver and gold. I don't really know why. I just kind of went for colors that I thought I would be able to use. Um, I'm working on a series about special drills and I wanted to have some more options that are out there to share with you guys. I think these would look really cool. This is probably the easiest thing you can think of to do, but I think these would look cool in like a Christmas painting. If you're doing a Christmas tree, you could mix in silver and gold in like the ornaments. I'm sure you guys are more creative than I am and you'll be able to come up with something better than that, but that's all I've got right now. <laughs> and here's the silver ones. I'll just show you these ones. So yeah, they have so many colors in all of these. Uh, these would also look cool in like the middle of a flower, you know, like where you have the petals and then the middle is normally a circle. There's so many colors. I bet you could find one of those that would work really well for that. Okay, so those are quad cubes and half pearls. I believe the half pearls were 50 cents for the bag. I That sounds right to me. I should have looked up pricing. I apologize for that. All right, let's get into some AB drills. My favorite. <laughs> I am working on Daughter of Honor for the Princess Along, which is happening in June. And I went through and picked out some AB colors that I thought I might want. Two of these are not for that project. They're just ones I wanted in my stash. But these, one he these ones here are for the Daughter of Honor kit. And oh, these are so pretty. So 317 is a gray. We have 414, which is another gray. I'm not sure I'll use both. I just wanted to have both available. 
they do look pretty close uh, especially with the coating on, but that's okay. 704 is a very bright green. I'm pretty sure this goes in her dress, which will be really beautiful. We have 904, a darker green. I thought I had this one, but I actually don't. And I'm not positive I'll use this one because if you can see the overcoat is like it, lean, it leans blue. I'm not sure that I'll like that, but wanted to have it just in case. We have 951, which is a peachy skin tone type of color, but I don't think it's in her skin tone. I don't normally add ABs to skin tone, so I don't think I would have purchased that if it was in her skin tone. And then we have a 996, beautiful blue. And 3843, another really pretty blue color. So it looks like um, DP with Sparklers is changing how they um, label their bags. Interesting. These bags are also smaller. Hmm. So they used to handwrite all of the numbers and now they are printing labels. So these are round. So it has a round symbol with the AB number, um, but I am noticing that these bags that have their labels are actually, they're shorter. Um, I'm not saying that they're giving you less. I would have to get all technical and actually weigh them, which I don't plan to do, but these bags are actually shorter and they are just as wide. So it's not like they're shorter and wider, they're just smaller. So that's interesting, just something to bring to your attention. And then I picked up two random colors that I've had on my list that I wanted to add to my collection. I don't know, anybody else keep a running total, like not a running total, a running list of AB colors that they want or just, just me? Okay. So I have 3341, which is a really beautiful peach color and 3812, which is a beautiful, like deep aqua green type of color. So that is everything for ABs and then I did pick up some sparklers. So for the most part, every time I place an order with DP, DP with sparklers, I throw in a sparkler or two. And you can see I have quite a few. I'm pretty close to having all of them um, that they have listed right now. Sometimes things get taken away and added in, so you never really know if you have the full collection. But um, I do use a lot of sparklers. You'll see in a post review coming up that I used a couple different colors. All right, so this is Peacock, and I do like to show these in the tray because I feel like in the bag you don't get the real, the real look. Oh, so pretty. So again, this is Peacock, one that I wanted for quite a while. I will be working on quite a few beachy kits this summer, and I thought maybe this one would lend itself really well to the water. We have Purple Rain. This one is just so unique. It, it like it looks yellow, but then there's like flashes of purple. Not quite sure how I'll use this one yet, but I think it's beautiful. I think it's really subtle as well. It wouldn't necessarily be like an in-your-face sparkler. I think it would look really beautiful in a lot of types of kits. And then these ones here are fireworks. Talk about a unique, <laughs> a unique one, because this one looks, it, it's just so many different colors when you look at them. Like looking right now, I know I'm not in frame, but I can see purple, pink, red, flashes of orange. Like it's just such a cool, I hope the camera will pick it up, but it's such a cool sparkler. All right, so that is my small shop spotlight for DP with sparklers. Like I said in the beginning, I'm sure I didn't introduce you to any shop I think most people in the community know about DP with sparklers, but you know, all small shops deserve some extra love. So I am an avid 
I don't know the word. <laughs> I am a huge fan of DP with Sparklers. I've had so many great experiences with them customer service wise. And uh, yeah, so make sure you go check out their website if you haven't already. Their sparklers are beautiful, but their other items are top notch as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this small shop spotlight and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.